Hi everyone, this is Ashwathan and you are watching our YouTube channel and today we are going to learn how to build pagination in Django. So let's get started. And if you have not yet subscribed, hit the subscribe button and also hit the notification bell icon so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. So at first we will go to views.py and right here we will import some files we will say from Django django.core.paginator import paginator empty page and page not an integer now inside post list what you will do you will say uh, I will just write here instead of uh, grabbing all the post I can grab all the post because we don't have a lot of post right so but uh, when you uh, really have uh, a lot of posts, make sure you don't show all of them. You have to filter them with published status. Okay. So since we have only four posts in the blog post website, that's why I'm using this. But uh, once our blog post website is ready, we have to change this uh, object.all to filter and filter that with published status. Okay. Remember that. And now I'll just uh, create a paginator is equals to paginator and I will pass all post and number of post per page. So since we have only four posts, so I will provide one. And now I will say page is equal to request dot get dot get and I will grab page from that so this request dot get will be a dictionary and from dictionary we are grabbing key page and whatever is the value that will be saved in this variable and if page does not exist then it will be none and uh, now since page cannot be an integer sorry page should be an integer and if this page doesn't exist in request.get then uh, it should have none that's why we will say try posts is equals to paginator dot page and i will pass page so this page will be present right here and now i will say if there is an error and the error is page not an integer error then i will say post is equal to paginator dot page and i will retrieve the first page let's uh, take an example say you have uh, 100 pages and a user just come and he will uh, modify the link and what he will do say your domain slash actually it's question mark page equals to x now what should be the output it should be redirected to the first page right we should not give some error our program should not fail we should redirect him to the first page so for that we will be using page not an integer exception and if uh, that happens we will redirect the user to the first page right i hope you can understand this now i will say accept empty page post is paginator dot page and right here i will say paginator dot num pages uh, right this one so let's say you have 50 page in your post and the user just uh, write page equals to 100 then what what it means that means if this such condition such a situation occurred for your uh, website what uh, the website should do he should be redirected to the last possible page of that particular website right and that's why we are saying that when we are getting empty page error then the paginator should return the page with total number of pages present in that particular website so let's say total number of pages is 50 so it will give 50 right here so we will retrieve page number 50 okay great now right here uh, we will render context 
post instead of post i will here say post okay because uh, we are retrieving this post right okay now save this and uh, i just want to show you one more thing i will just say print uh, request dot get okay i will uh, save that and i'll run the server i'll say python manage dot py run server and i will just copy this link control c control v and uh, right here we have to say list and we got an error saying all post is not defined why because it's all posts okay save that reload it get back refresh and we got only one post this is title remember what we have said right here we said we need only one post per page now instead of uh, one i can do two but before that i want to show you something so right here you can see we have query dictionary that is empty now it's a dictionary we are trying to get page when we try to retrieve page from this empty dictionary it will return none because such key doesn't exist right and that's why we will get page not an integer error and if we get page not an integer error we will retrieve paginator dot page one that means the very first page okay now here i have changed one to two that means i want two post per page i will save this uh let's refresh get back here refresh this yeah we have two post and page one done but the question is how user can navigate to the next page and for that what we will do we'll just get back right here close this go to homepage.html and we are going to modify something here but uh, before that we need to learn some concept okay what i'll do i'll just create a new file i will say pagination.html so right here i'll create a div and inside that div i have to check so i will just say if page dot has previous that means if that page for example we are at page one then it should not have previous page right so if oops if that happens that means if that's true then we will create a a tag and we will say question mark page equals to inside this i will provide page dot previous page number and here i will say previous great and here i will say end f great and now i will say page page dot number of page dot paginator dot num pages and uh, again i will say if page dot has next let's say we are at page number 50 and it doesn't have page number 51 then we should not have next uh, link right so right here i will say a tag and here page is equals to page dot next page number great and i will say next okay everything's fine save this one but it's not integrated with home page so somehow we have to integrate this pagination.html with home page.html and for this what we will be doing we will just say right here we will create a tag that's called include tag great here we will say include what we need to include we need to include pagination.html so we'll say pagination.html so remember here i am just putting those codes okay 
and inside that I am saying pagination.html and then I will say with page equals to posts. So what is this page? Right here you can see we are using page. If we don't use this page, here you can also write x equals to post. Post is uh, the variable you are getting from the context and you are saving that inside page variable that you can use right here. I hope it's clear. Now I'll save this and uh, just get back right here and refresh. And we got an error and it says template does not exist pagination.html. We have provided inside the code, uh, we do provide that. We will refresh pagination.html. It cannot find pagination.html. Why? Because it's inside my app slash. Uh, actually, it should be like this slash. Now I'll refresh. Got it. So <laughs> you should not make this mistake. Uh, what we were doing wrong that uh, here our pagination.html is present inside my app and uh, that's why we are getting error. If we put pagination inside the templates, then we won't get any error. Okay. Now get back right here and uh, you will see since we are at page one, that's why we don't have any previous page, but we do have next. I'll click at next and right here you can see we have question mark page equals to two. And since it does not have page number three, that's why we have uh, previous. I'll get back. And that's how it works. Now what I will do, you get back in views and right here I'll say one, save, reloaded, refresh, one post, four pages, two, three, four, great. Uh, I will do something like final page, page number one, why? because this is a page, not an integer error. And again, I will say, let's say some random number, boom. And we are getting page number four because uh, it's an empty page error. So I hope you can understand the concept of pagination in Django. That's all. If you have any doubt, let me know in the comment section. Thank you. See you in the next one.